As we now see, it's all very simple and intuitive. Here we have a factory sound, a pop flute, and while it has long notes, it's not looped. We now loop it using the Penrose machine in Kima Pro. So let's send it to Kima Pro, directly from the XS24, as you can see. Now let's play a sample to check once again that it's not looped. Then I'm using the quick loop function using the Penrose machine looping algorithm to loop everything. And now I'm sending back the looped instrument either by clicking that button or using the send back to logic menu command. Now we have all the loops and let's play a note. Yes, it's looped. Let's play the song. This is the part we want to replace. We'll start by creating a new instrument track. I'm adding an XS24 instance. And I'm creating a new instrument. Now I'm dragging my bass part to the XS24 so I will be able to use it for my instrument. And I'm saving it. Now I'm sending it to Kima Pro and I'm going to use just one of the various notes played. I'm also adding a little fade out uh, to avoid any click. At this point, my sample is still randomly mapped on the keyboard, so I'm auto mapping it to the right root note using pitch detection. As you can see, the root note has changed. Now I'm using the polyphonate function to build the two octaves of playball bass. That's all, I'm now sending back this instrument to Logic, where I will use it to play the bass part again. Let's now talk about drum loops. We all have some favorite drum loops we use in our songs. The problem is that we can't simply use the same loop for five minutes. We need to build variations, breaks, and so on. Similarly, we can't use the same loops in all of our songs. Kima Pro has several functions for easily building loop variations while having some fun too. Basically, you slice the loop, start the playback, then walk around with some key comments and start swapping and remixing slices, changing loop length in a musical way, and so on. Every time you hear something you like, you just press the W key and the loop variation is saved for you. I'm now creating 8 slices in this loop. I'm pressing W to save the loop.
you can also build variations using the remix bit functions basically they let you randomly change the slices in bits 1, 2, 3 or 4 of your loop We just remixed the bit 1, so now let's try with uh, bit 3. And basically you can combine all these tools to create the variations you want. We can also create a traditional set of slices, map them to the keyboard, and then export a MIDI file from the magic pad with the notes and timing for reproducing the playback from a sequencer. Kima Pro offers a powerful feature called spatialization, where you can place your samples in a three-dimensional acoustic space with a distance, a direction and an elevation. This is very useful for improved realism and imagine uh, placing some drum kit elements in a three-dimensional acoustic space. Or if you're building an effects library and you want, uh, let's say, gunshots to come from different directions on different keys on the keyboard. And there are many other creative applications. From the instrument editor you send the zooms output to a built-in 16 bus surround and space mixer where you then place buses into the emulated acoustic space around the listener position. <laughs> 